So I'm here with Simangile, Smash Hadebe, an ABU title fight. Great performance. Your fights are always so poetic. How are you feeling right now? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm very happy. I'm excited. I'm overwhelmed. Yeah, I don't know what to say. I'm out of words, actually. So it's the co-main event. And winning the ABU title, like, how does that feel? Like, uh, just explain the thoughts that are going through your mind right now as best as you can. Uh, you know, it's scary when you when you when you're going up. You know, it's scary because you meet tougher and tougher opponents. It's not getting easier. So uh, it's scary, and I'm excited at the same time. I'm ready for 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 the top. I'm actually ready, and uh, I'm hoping nothing but the best. Nothing but the best. As long as I've got the right team with me, I believe I'll go all the way. So this is your first time on ESPN Africa. How's it been? Uh, it feels great. I'm very grateful and thank you to ESPN for this opportunity, the exposure. As a woman, uh, I don't know what to say, but thank you. And I would like another opportunity as well in the future. But thanks a lot. So did you expect the fight to go the way that it went? We prepared all 10 rounds and we went all 10 rounds. Because uh, no, uh, we knew she's a, she's a tough opponent. She went all the way. You know, I know she, she got a, 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 an, injury, an injured eye in the early rounds. That shows the, the heart of boxing from Halima. I'm actually grateful for that. And uh, she's a tough boxer. I would have done the same, kept all the way. I've kept on going until, up until the last round. So to me, credits to her, credits to her. So you've got such great stamina, you know, with your boxing. What was your game plan going into the fight? Uh, you know, <laughs> Like I said, all the hard work, all hard work, and obviously the stamina has got to be there. You don't know what you open and uh, even if you're planning for a knockout, but stamina has to be there to push all the way, even more than 10 rounds. So, yeah, two minutes with us women, it's also, it also feels like three minutes like men. It's, it's all the same, doesn't matter two minutes, three minutes. So we spar more than that at the gym. So, yeah, I'm very, very grateful for the team I have. And when would you like your next fight to be? When would you like to fight again? <laughs> Sooner, because I don't want to stay uh, this whole year without a fight. So I want to be active. I want to keep active, active, active. And yeah, as soon as I've, I've done my rest, but I'll rest while I train. So yeah, I'm hoping for in a couple of months, in a couple of months, yeah. So, what are your plans for that? Do you possibly think it's going to be on, on an ESPN bill again? Uh, you know, it, it, it will depend. Uh, my manager knows best. She's the one who's doing the communication and also coach. So, I'm waiting on them while I train and I keep fit. So, I'm waiting for any, but I'm hoping that I'll get another opportunity at ESPN. Yeah, so... Yeah, I'm just waiting for to hear from my manager. She knows best for me. And do you have a message for your fans out there, fans watching this? <laughs> to everyone who's watching, thank you so much for the support. Thank you to, 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 to ESPN, to all my sponsors, RDG, Dan Dr. Braugia, and Human Nutrition. Thank you to all my team, because my team, they also support me. My manager, Colleen McOsland, Coach Antonel. He's new, but he's done a great job. So, uh, I don't know what to say. Thank you to the fans. Thank you to everyone, actually. ESPN mostly for this opportunity. Thank you so much and well done again. Thank you.